I went camping over the weekend, decided to bring one of the ReadyWise emergency food supply kits with me. The kits were on sale a while ago. It was two for one, so I think I paid $40 for two kits. Uh, so I got two of these. Anyways, so it's a 72-hour kit, 32 servings. 25 years shelf life and then it says down here you know basically just add water so what i ended up doing was taking a couple thermoses with hot water and was expecting that to kind of be that i didn't actually open the kit up until i got out there just to kind of you know see how this would do in an emergency situation a lot of these kits typically the bags you have a bag and you basically just pour the liquid in the bag and you can seal the bag or you know kind of mix things up in the bag uh, you'll see in a second, this kit's a little bit different, and so that kind of created some interesting challenges. So I'll go ahead and just kind of open up the kit and kind of walk you through my experience here. So you got the nutrition information here on the back. And then the first thing I tried, and this went pretty well, was the brown sugar and maple multigrain oatmeal. And I mean, it was just like oatmeal like you'd expect out of like a Quaker Oats package or something like that. The only thing you gotta be aware of, let me see if I can grab this out of here, is all of these, oh, I'm gonna just pull crumbs everywhere. All of these kits have an oxygen absorber in them. And it looks like, it's like a little pouch that looks like this. You might think like, oh, I, I, at first I thought, oh, that must be like the brown sugar package or something, and I accidentally. Uh, dumped it into the thermos, so I had to fish it out. But this is the oxygen absorber pack, which is supposed to keep keep everything in the pouch fresh. So you'll notice too, off the right off the bat, this pouch is not a freestanding pouch. So I ended up having to pour water, basically pour this into my thermos and then pour water on it. Something I also didn't think about: they said you needed three and a half cups of water. So luckily, I have you know, I mean, this is an old uh, thermos brand thermos. But it had a little cup that, that screws on the top. This actually ended up being exactly one cup. So I just did that three and a half times. I felt like initially, and I did, uh, the instructions back here actually have kind of a, a cold water. Just, you know, you let it sit a little bit longer. I actually had put the hot water in the night before and I used a lot of it in my solar shower. So I didn't have any, like I had some lukewarm water, but that was about it. So it was a little soupy. I found uh, later in the day when I actually got home uh, and I looked in that thermos, it was actually a little bit more uh, like oatmeal, so it was a little crunchy, but I get, it was edible uh, at room, using room temperature water versus hot water. Uh, the rest of the kit gets a little dicey, and I'll show you what I mean. So I did the mac and cheese tonight, and so this is the back of a mac and cheese container. So this actually does reseal, but it's and I guess it, it actually could be freestanding. I didn't do it that way. I just poured it in a bowl. And this will also have an oxygen absorber, oxygen absorber in it as well. The challenge with this one, as you can see, there's no, on the packaging, there's no instructions. So I went online and looked at one of the other Wise kits, and they said three cups of water. So I poured three cups of water, of hot water in. And it came out, like I said, same thing, kind of soupy like the oatmeal was initially. So I ended up just zapping it in the microwave for three minutes, still soupy, but it actually helped cook the noodles because the noodles were getting softer progressively. I just was hungry and I didn't want to wait on it. And I wasn't really sure exactly how much water to put. And then you'll see this is kind of a theme. <laughs> Let me put that one aside. Same thing here. Here's the teriyaki rice that's labeled, but again, there's no instructions on here anywhere uh, on how to do that one. And then same thing here. There's a whey protein mix. Also doesn't have any instructions. And then they also in this kit, they give you, sorry, knock the camera there. Also in this kit, they give you another one of these uh, breakfast ones. And so that's it, that's all that's in the kit. So one of the things you'll notice here too is that the servings here, and you'll, you'll notice each one of these is a fourth of a pouch. Uh, the oatmeal pouches are not resealable. I guess I'll... I'm going to throw this away once this video's over. I'm going to put that back in there. The, the mac and cheese one, I guess, could be. The teriyaki one is. And the whey one is. But there's no instructions on them. And there's no instructions on here. There was a booklet that came outside of this that was in the box. But it looked like that was more for reordering things. I don't think there was actual cooking instructions in there. So I would have expected kind of like the oatmeal here that there would have been instructions so that, that kind of makes this kit a little bit difficult and then the other thing that kind of makes this kit a little bit difficult is here's just an unlabeled bag 
and it's significantly smaller than the other ones. I'm assuming that this is the hearty tortilla soup. And again, this is not a freestanding or resealable bag. So that, that to me was kind of a, a bummer. If you know you were going in a, a small group, um, then it'd be fine, right? So each meal, everybody just eats you know, their portion out of the bag. But for one person, I ended up with a lot of oatmeal left that I ended up unfortunately just throwing away because I kind of forgot about it. Um, and then same, you know, the mac and cheese and stuff like that, you know, to try to, I'd have to have other means of preserving that and the lack of direction. So if you're looking at this kit, and I actually checked too, just to make sure it wasn't a fluke. And the other kit I have is the exact same way. So it wasn't like they ran out of labels or anything like that. It's just, this is how they're shipping these kits. So if you're getting a kit like this, just be aware of that. Again, trying to find the directions on the WISE website was challenging. I didn't find them. I went to a YouTube video where somebody else had WISE Cheesy Mac, and but theirs were ultimately looked like spirals, where this one looked like more like a Kraft Mac and cheese. And so I think the water, amount of water used is probably too much, but again, I, there was no instructions. So just something to be aware of on this kit. I don't know if the marketing material I threw away had that information on it, but in an emergency situation, I probably just expect all of that to be on the package and, you know, not something where I have to go try to look that up or find it. So a little disappointed in the kit from that perspective in terms of taste, the oatmeal tasted like, you know, maple or, you know, brown sugar and maple oatmeal. I wouldn't say it's a strong overpowering flavor. But, I mean, you could definitely taste it. It's not as strong as, you know, say, like the like a Quaker Oats or something like that. And then the, so far, the Cheesy Mac, that also, it was okay. Uh, not not great. I, it felt like, and I don't know exactly how to explain it, one of the cheeses or the cheese flavor in there, kind of for whatever reason, seemed a little kind of strong, kind of almost like a blue cheese taste, maybe, if I had to explain it. So, uh, I mean, it's fine for me, but that may be something I could be, see how that could be off-putting for, for somebody, uh, you know, or if you're trying to feed this to a child who wants more of that traditional uh, Kraft mac and cheese taste. So, uh, I haven't tried the tortilla soup yet. I've heard people say that it's maybe not, it doesn't have as much kick as you would expect the tortilla soup to have. And I haven't tried the teriyaki rice yet. So I'll do those and do those in, in subsequent videos. And if you have any questions, I'll try to answer them. Just put them in the comments. Um, and that's, oh, the other thing I'd mentioned too, there's no utensils in this box either. So to mix everything together and do all that, you'll also need to have some sort of silverware. So there's not like any plastic uh, silverware in there, which, which would be nice, right? Or at least a spork or something that you could uh, reuse. So that's also not included in the kit. So just something to be aware of. So a little bonus footage here on this emergency food kit. This is, I don't know, a day or two later here since I made the original video, but I found the product catalog. So this was what was included in there. And I thought, oh, maybe the instructions were in here and I chucked that and maybe that would have made sense for the video. But no, if you actually look through the table of contents, it actually just kind of talks about kind of the various products that they have and their mission and that sort of stuff so just you can see just a bunch of marketing pricing kind of some of the other packages that they sell and their cost and i'm hoping hopefully maybe at some point i need to go grab one of these bigger packs and see if they're maybe a little bit better put together but yeah they got organic buckets fruit fruit and vegetable buckets all sorts of stuff in here but so okay so here's the 72 hour one here listed as well <clears throat> and you can see it's six pouches and the servings of thing and uh i didn't realize this but that's interesting so they said those 32 servings in here if you look at that most of those are this way alternative down here or that's 12 of the servings so you're only getting 20 servings of actual entrees um the math doesn't quite add up on that. Let's see here. Four was 16. Well, I guess that's 20. Okay. Sorry. Mental hiccup there. So yeah, so they, you know, it's it's in the thing, they mention it. 
What I was talking about, and one of my gripes was that things don't all, the stuff doesn't fit in here. Um, I think this is, here's a good example. So they have these pouches. Uh, not, so these pouches, and the pouches, you can basically add water to the pouch. And yeah, eat in pouch is what it says in here. And so that would have been cool if those were in here because you could have mixed all this stuff up in the pouch. And then I had mentioned, I believe, but I was going to show you. So I mentioned, I didn't know that since there were no directions, how much stuff to put in there. So you can see how soupy this is. That was when I, this is the leftover macaroni. And you can just see how soupy that is when I added in what I thought the right amount of water. And I don't even think I did three and a half. I did three cups because there was no directions on the label as to how much water to put in there. So you can see that's like super, 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 super soupy. So, again, you know, with no reference, I mean, that's something that can happen. It's still edible, maybe not as potent as it would be if it wasn't so soupy, but just something to be aware of.